Greetings, everyone. We're back with more Dark Souls. I wasn't sure if he was like trying to do like a Vincent Price thing there, no, or it, like, it's... or an Alfred Hitchcock thing. Good evening. It's me, Corey, Chris, and Tyler. <laughs> Definitely Alfred Hitchcock. So you guys are going to provide commentary because I'm going to be quiet as shit because I well, need to get a good. Imagine a world where giant crustaceans run the government. Oh. <laughs> and one of them is named Christy. Oh. I think my favorite thing I ever saw about him, it just, and mind you, we don't even care about the whole, like, whatever your views on, on him are. I'm just laughing at him. It's, <laughs> my favorite thing I've ever seen was just a picture and it just says Christy Cream above it. <laughs> it's like, that is awful. That's fucking brilliant. That is pretty good. You saw it, you went for it, you did it. <laughs> it was just, that's a good goal. So when is this, when is this going to be released, this video? Uh, we are recording on a Friday. This will be up Thursday. Very so good. So, <laughs> so this will be before Star Wars, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So Star Wars. I'm now in full excite mode for Star Wars. Yeah. It's I've been I've been holding off as long as I can. I can It's Palpatine. I cannot contain it anymore. It's gonna be so fantastic. Yay. I'm pretty geeked, I'm not gonna lie. I've been just watching non Star Wars things. For just weeks. on the aspect of there's another Star Wars movie coming out, which yeah. makes me feel like a child again, which is pretty cool. Except these movies should be better. Well, it should okay, be. Okay, the okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to put it in this way. I was really excited for Seven because it's a whole new thing, whole new everything. And it, it, hit, it hit the right notes. It was a almost direct parallel to A New Hope. I get it. So everyone's basing A off of Empire Strikes Back. You're right there, champ. Yep. Good. Okay. Okay. So everyone's <laughs> gonna me everyone's immediately jump into it's gonna be a parallel to uh, Empire Strikes Back. But is it? There's yes. so many. There's so many things different in this one versus A New Hope to Empire Strikes Back and Jedi and this one. Force Awakens to The Last Jedi. So I don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm literally going into this going, they could take this anywhere, and it's kind of exciting. Yeah, it is pretty Did cool. Did Glalari die? Did who? Yes. Great. Oh, shit, they're both alive. Yes. Damn. This is, he's in for the... He's in for the long haul now. Long game. So, that's why I'm super excited for this one. More so... Then, oh, you're fighting two? Yeah. What a crack of shit. He's always been fighting two. But he's I just, you just couldn't tell because the other dude was... Basically, basically, Brian was taking care of one and the other guy was taking care of the other one. Yeah, so but then the other guy always dies. In um, the words of Shakespeare, this is horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Quite the, quite the literary connoisseur there, yes. No, no I have the fist with you! Oh my god. What a, what a jackass. Um, <laughs> what a complete piece of shit. That's right. <laughs> this jack wagon over here. Jack wagon. You're a jack wagon. Um, but no, I am. That's it. But dude, I'm super excited. Super, super excited. And it's going to really suck when this is over because we're going to have to wait another two years. Yep. Yep. Because but two years what's, what's the next? Is the Han Solo one next? Yes. It comes out this summer, not December. Yes. So you're going to have star two Star Wars movies Shit. in six months. Which is going to be awesome. Yeah. And then there's going to be like a year and a half gap. Well, the crazy part was like Daisy Ridley was saying that they only planned for three. Yeah. And she said, I don't want to come back. And she said she doesn't want to come back for a, that'd be what, ten? Nine. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. No, no ten. 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 They're doing ten. nine. Yeah, they're doing nine, so it'd be ten. And... Ryan Johnson's already doing the next three, and they've already decided they're not going to do the old Republic. Oh, great. Star Wars is going to go on forever and ever, and eventually it's going to get, get, get They it. spent $4 billion. They it, have to. And it's going get to on get, it now. It's going to go on forever. It's, it's going to go on forever, and then it's going to get run into the ground like Star Trek. Pretty much. And But 
Don't Segway? Even st- Segway? Don't even start me on Star Trek. Segway? I hate Star Trek as a series. Segway? To Quentin Tarantino? Doing Star Trek? So... Rated R. Okay, so Dude. that that actually does have me intrigued. Does it? Okay. To to be perfectly fair, to be perfectly fair, I saw that today. I saw that this morning. I was like, ooh. I saw really? that. Really? And did they say that's going to be Quentin's last movie? Yes. Yeah, because his, 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 last movie. his other last movie is coming out in 2019. And then, so like he is his last movie. But then he, but then like as soon as they said, okay, it's coming out in 2019. This is the last movie. Then he, then he hits up Hollywood with like. Actually, I want to do a Star Trek movie, and I want to make it rated R. And then J.J. Abrams was like... Everyone jumped on it. They're like, J.J. Abrams was like, I saw the script. I can't tell you anything about it, because I'm stupid excited for it. And he's like scrambling to find people. Well, you know why it's his last one, right? Because he wouldn't diddle all the chicks like Harvey Weinstein was? Stop. <laughs> no, no, I know. Like, he, was a, he was a big backer, and so he's now distanced himself from everything. He goes, you know what? It's easier just to get the fuck out of the way. Having said that, he's made terrific movies over the last couple decades. So. I mean, to this day, Pulp Fiction is top five movie for me. Yeah. Oh, it's the, so good. The Kill Bill movies. Dude, you gotta go Reservoir Dogs. I love, I love Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs was good. I love that. Not crazy about... Um, Jackie Brown? Eh, yeah, yeah. I liked I it. I saw that I one. think Inglorious Bastards was probably the most underwhelmed. I really, Recent. I really like that movie. Do you? I, I just, liked it. Just on the pure ridiculousness of it. Yeah. It's and the expectation that I had going into that movie. Pretty much, I expected it to be absurd, and I knew it was going to be absurd, and it was absolutely absurd. It was a, but it was a different absurd to what I expected. I just, uh, uh, I just I recently watched The Hateful Eight for the first time ever. How was that? I heard it was amazing. Having waited two years to watch that movie and then watching it blew all my expectations away. Really? It was really, really good. It's really long. It is on Netflix, though. But how can we forget Django, though? Django is a fantastic movie. This movie... That was the one that everyone said, you gotta see, you gotta see, and I'm like, yeah, I'll get around to it. And I watched it, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had to see this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What movies are we... Are, we're forgetting movies. Yeah. Hateful we, Eight. We, we just had Hateful Eight. You said um, You said Jackie Brown. He only has eight movies. Really? Yeah, we've said them Why do I feel like he has more? Because you're crazy. That's entirely possible. It's plausible, actually. Yeah. He's like James Cameron. You think of like James Cameron being this amazing director, and he's only done literally a handful of movies. Yeah. But every single one is a absolute block- blockbuster smash. Yeah. No, um, I, I... Name a James Cameron movie that's not Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Titanic, or Avatar. Aliens. Okay, got me. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm also, a terrible, I'm a terrible also trivia master. a phenomenal movie. <laughs> oh, for e- sure. Ex- okay, full disclosure. I hate everything about Avatar except the visuals. Everything about it. Well, wait for 2, 3, 4, and 5 to come out. I uh, ever do. Well, he said he's making them all at the same time. Well, here's the thing. I saw the first one. I'm not wasting my time. It's That's Dances with Wolves. It is. With it is. Dances aliens. with Wolves with giant Smurfs. It's, it's fucking Smurf. Ferngilly. That's all it was. Or Pocahontas. Or, yeah, it's yeah. all of those mixed into one with really good visuals. But how many... It did have very, very spectacular visuals, but I feel like that's, to me personally, my, my personal opinion is that that's all it really had to offer to me. I, I felt the you, script it's was one very of those, It's one of those ones you can't dive too much into. Yeah. yeah. The script was very predictable and... You know, me and my sister were sitting there in the theater, you know, just, you know, spouting off lines, and it would be pretty similar to what they said next. It's like, oh, I bet you in this part that how, they're going to get this chick, and they're going to betray him. And we were, yeah, and we were like, and I sat there, and I think the line was like, or I said something like, you betray us, and she, the woman goes, we trusted you. I just went, yep, that's it. He's like, I'm ruining my life. I should have been a screenwriter. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> wasted talent gone you could have made millions of dollars I do the same thing when watching sports I do the exact same thing me and my dad will be will say something and then 10 seconds later on the broadcast the announcers will say and me and my dad just go yeah 
That's what we're saying. He's like, we bet should you, do this. Bet we're you Julio Jones people. is going to cross center and he's and uh, Matt Ryan's going to throw it to him and he's going to get at least 25 yards. Oh, look at that. Just fucking happened. I bet Andy Dalton's going to throw one over the middle and leave his receiver out to dry. Oh, oh, oh surprise. <laughs> oh, no, he got tackled. <laughs> oh, Dalton got sacked this time. Breathe, Bryant. Breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> breathe in. Nothing serious. I want the mama tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be Jackie Happy. Jesus Christ, my boy! Don't you know what time? Well, fam, you like a lead trick of life! I've heard that song at so many Blue Jackets games because they go to at every single goddamn game. I remember the first time I went to a game, that was the first time I ever heard that song. I was like, like, yeah, all right, I'm, yeah, I'm ready for this game. And now, I, 200 Blue Jacket games later, I'm like, yup. it's, it's still. I'm just like, yup, it's time for hockey. Here yeah. we go. <laughs> the magic begins. <laughs> that's one way to put it. Yeah. They fire a cannon, though. And that's all I need in my life. Just, oh, <clears throat> yes. Get you a cannon for your birthday. So, you know, I'm, glad that, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you brought up the cannon because I. I was every time I think of the Blue Jackets, I think of this. So, this is probably 2006, mm -hmm. maybe 2006, 2007. You got to fire it? Oh no, um, oh. 2006, 2007, and one of my buddies did a. I guess. Why was, are you here? Blame my parents. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ed. <laughs> um, and he goes. Okay, uh, he I guess he did right. something. I guess he like sent. Something to like uh, the Columbus Dispatch. Uh, it was something about like the Blue Jackets, and I don't know. It, again, I was a young kid and young, dumb, and stupid. But he claims that he was the one that submitted to the Columbus Dispatch that if they are a cavalry, that they should have a cannon and fire it. And no joke, like a year later, or two years well, later, they started they that. They started that in the 2007-2008 season. Which um, it was, but again, it was, was eerily right they did, they, right coincidental did, uh, that he goes, "Hey, he even showed." I remember, I remember in school, he even showed me. He's like, "Hey, here's my wrote to the Columbus Dispatch right here." I was like, "Wow, that's really cool." And then no joke, like a year, two years later, <laughs> yeah, they get a the fucking McConnell family's like, "Hmm, shit." I'm like, I don't know if you were the only one to have it, but that is kind of weird. Well, that's exactly where we got our, our name from. Is you know the the uh, Civil War history of Blue Columbus. You know the Civil the Union uniforms were made in Columbus. Yeah. That's why we wear Union Blue. I thought that was kind of weird. And now have a cannon. Now you have the, the whole league hates that cannon. Like I, there, there was he one time. There, shoot off the cannon. Well, yeah, like there was. There's a player uh, who played for, for Montreal. Yeah, who plays for Nashville now. Uh, PK Subban. Mm -hmm. um, he. They asked him about the cannon one time. He goes, "I hate that damn cannon." <laughs> <laughs> the whole league hates it. Absolutely hates it. And that's why hey, we're keeping it. Exactly. That's exactly why we're keeping it. It's home field. It's home ice advantage. We can do whatever the hell we want. Yeah. yeah. If I had it my way, I'd throw dildos out on the ice right there. <laughs> just to go. Play, put that rubber in the net. <laughs> <laughs> on top. Yeah. Oh, no, I tripped on one. Damn it. <laughs> this, one's, this one's purple. <laughs> and it vibrates. Ooh. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's chasing me. <laughs> God, gross. God, get away. He was offsides. You didn't you see you could see it. The balls were crossing the line right there. <laughs> it was inching like a worm. <laughs> oh my god. I see I like stuff like that. Not the dildos, but like, <laughs> uh, the cannon. Like it's you unique things that you if you went to every stadium or arena, football or whatever. You don't want every single one of them to feel the same. You know, you want each one to have its... You... Oh, 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 oh. Haha, <laughs> now I play. I wiener. Now how do I roll? <laughs> <laughs> now how do I do this thing? 
Full health, and I get one-shotted. Ooh. Alright. You're gonna be able to see with the microphone in the way. I can see it fine. You know, the, uh... The it's not like you fuckers are paying attention to the hell that's going on. I have. I've been watching you beat up these bad creatures for a while. For dozens of minutes. It has been so many minutes, okay? <laughs> I can't even do it now. I can't wait for the time that that's just, like, over, by the way. Like, Donald Trump being the butt of every joke. Because because it's been a smorgasbord of just, like, just line them up and just go crazy. Now it's like... <laughs> <laughs> home run derby, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, home run derby's <laughs> fun when they when they knock like fifteen of them out there, not a hundred and fifty. <laughs> like, come on, all right, can we wrap this up? We got shit to do. Like, she's like, I gotta go to work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get on with my life. <laughs> can I go? We get it. You've hit every seat in the building. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Speaking Debbie. of home run derbies, uh, Columbus hosts the AAA All Star Game this year. Hey! So I think they, we get a home run derby. Hey! To which I'm like, I might fucking go to that. Right? <laughs> Went to a game last last year. I have not been to a game in a few years. I hadn't been to one in five years before that. And we won. Oh, are you I, talking about the game you and I went to, the playoff game, or? That wasn't five years. It was like that was in like three. That was like 2013 or something. Oh, it's whenever we won our last title. Yeah, and that was the last game I went to before that. And I went with my dad. Well, fun. That was a good game we went to. Was. Weren't we in like the second row? Second row, right behind home plate. Whoa. They were nice. And Playoff we, tickets. Yeah, and then the ref kept looking at me because I kept saying things. Yeah, we kept yelling. It was a thing. That's why you keep your filthy mouth shut, Tyler. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Keep your slut mouth closed. <laughs> I, was, I thought I was helping. <laughs> I'll just never forget a Clippers game I went to one time. We were... Me and my dad went, this was like, this was in 2014, it was on my birthday. We go to this game, we are sitting right by the bullpen of the away team. Yeah. Goes into extras. Game started at 4 o'clock. Goes into extras. Why am I going 13 innings? Jesus, dude. It was like 13 or 14 innings. It was ridiculous. But and at, in the final inning, they were at bat, Norfolk. They, they go up, bases loaded. They pinch hit. And there's a pitcher warming up for Nor Norfolk, and he's right by, just standing like two feet from me and my dad. And my dad just goes, hey, you have to worry about this guy. And he just shakes his head. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, first pitch popped it up. Like, nice. <laughs> like, <laughs> Clippers won that game. It was great. It was a great game. Lots of fun. That's when the manager looked at you going, check's coming in your way. Keep your eye open in the mail. <laughs> it's a good time, though. Check is in the mail. I've only been to one baseball game in the, since 2014. Man. And that was. Uh, oh my god, he's dead! That was, that was the Indians night. game I went to this year. Nice. And they got rocked. It was awful. <laughs> Bryant has defeated the demon creatures. Now for super mega. Ultra. Ultra. Nipple grabbing demon. Ah, oh, fuck this thing. <laughs> Nobody likes fiery demon creatures. Especially not ones that grab nipples. Those are the worst. Those are the worst. Like, what did I ever do to you? Apparently, be born with nipples. Rolling, rolling, rolling. It's got quite the move, quite the move set. Hey, but the other guy is actually going to be fine. Roar, 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 roar. <laughs> Remember that scene in Blues Brothers where One they the went best. to the country western bar <laughs> and they played that song like 15 times? <laughs> and all those people did was stop throwing beer at them after a while. We stand by you got, your man. <laughs> you got you boys owe me a lot of money for that beer you drank. <laughs> Quick, we gotta go. <laughs> uh, some pretty good damage, Bry.
<laughs> Good. Distract him. Good. I will attack his taint. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. Also known as the devil's driveway. Right? I mean, you're looking at the devil right now. <laughs> That's his driveway. Ooh. There you go. Oh! oh! Get bitch slapped. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a bitch slap if I've ever seen <laughs> oh god. Get hit, get kissed. <laughs> Can we talk about how excited I am to see Brodrop, by the way? Uh, that is gonna be I don't I don't know if you're ready for the amount of intense that show's about to be. Like I know a couple of those openers. Well I know the singer of the band Denialist. Because he used to be in a local band called The Beast in Your Image. Okay. Or The Beast in His Image. Oof. That's going to be a nasty show. We've covered Denialist, Tyler. I remember. What day is Get that? Get his driveway. Uh, December 30th. No, what day is it? Saturday. Get his driveway. Right oh. in the driveway. Oh. oh, so close. Come on. So intense. Yeah. Intensity in 12 cities. Oh my God. It's more than 10. <laughs> <laughs> Less than 13. You don't like your demon prince. That's usually how he's I always, feel. He's a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? I'm a what? <laughs> For God's sakes, Harry, you're a bloody wizard. I'm just Harry. <laughs> Fuck this game and everything it fucking stands for! Well, I guess that means we're done for the evening, so we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.